Hi right, guys, what's good? Mr. Banks here and welcome to another week for the Consumer Traders Weekly Outlook. Alright, so let's get started and this week there's not much so we're just going to keep it very very short and straight to the point. Now, our last week was uh, was not so much of a good week and that was because we were apparently bullish but then price went bearish during the cpi news data so last week wasn't a profitable week for me personally and and if you follow the analysis then maybe um that particular day for cpi might not have gone well for you now however uh we've actually been looking for a possibility for to sell the us the usd and i feel like now is the time for us to actually go bearish on the US dollar. All right, so on the screen right here, we have a DXY dollar index, and this is the daily time frame. So here we have um, we have our market structure shift here, and we have a break of structure here. All right, so. Now this is the daily time frame so let's go down to the one hour time frame now this is what the dollar index looks like on the one hour time frame now if you look at the price action you can see that we are not getting a proper retracement up into the zone to fill, and market is already taking out this low and breaking structure so what are we expecting this week our expectation this week right now is to actually see market the price um, actually you know come back up to fill the zone and then we expect sell off all right to continue let me just go to two hour three hour time frame to make this a bit clearer and better so here we are on a three hours time frame so we have shift the market structure break of structure now what I want to see is we want to see this zone here this level becomes the liquidity price clears it out comes to fill this fair value gap slash imbalance and then we look for a sell to continue all right now if you want to trade trend lines you can connect your trend lines like this and you see that so if you want to trade trend lines you have your one two three all right you can work with that okay so that's what we're going to be looking at for all right so you can use that as your trend line to to pick the third zone and then we expect a sell up on the dollar index okay now seeing that we're expecting bearish um continuation dollar index that means we're going to be bullish on eu gpusd and AUDUSD. so let's quickly go down to AUDUSD. now this is au all right and as you can see au created an impulsive move with the news and now we're going to expect some form of a retracement down and to go upward okay so just do we did with the dollar index we expect um the reverse side for the euro usd so on the euro usd we're going to expect here to be the liquidity and therefore we're going to expect price to actually try to come feel this huge imbalance slash um, fair value gap here all right but i would like to see fill this zone here all right so price comes in here fill this zone and then we get some bullish continuation upwards okay now this case here if you like to trade trend lines you can apply it like this you can see that so you can spare price to come fill this zone and then you have upward okay you go upward so we can have one two three all right and then we can you know start looking for bullish momentum do you understand now for those of you that trade um channels you can do it like this and you see that so you just allow this eye uh, monday uh, maybe on monday tomorrow is monday or tuesday whatever the case may be but just expect the price to retrace so you can catch the next impulse on euro usd now going down to gbp usd the same thing we're gonna look out for on GPUSD. You can take your trend lines like this, and also we're gonna connect these eyes like this. You can see that. So 
But what I expect the market, you know, to come down here to pick order. Now, if you look at GU, you're gonna see that we have one order block around here. Can you see that? So we can use it like one, two, you know, three. So expecting the GBP USD to, you know, probably just go up, retrace down slowly, come in here, and then boom, we go down to the next level for GBP USD. That being said, the next one is AUD USD. Now, AUD USD, uh, we can have the same thing as well. Take your trend line, connect. All right, and expect the market to also come peak here, here, and probably here. All right. So now, if you look at AU, you can see that we also have an order block around this zone right here, and a little space that was broken. So let's um, see if we can get 0.618 Fibonacci's level or 786. So we can do it like this. All right. So you can see that we have 0.786 sitting right there. So we can expect price to you know clear the sell side liquidity here or the inducement here to become liquidity push downwards and then boom we go upward again all right so this is what we have on au gu and um eu all right so we are looking at these three four for the week so this week we're keeping it simple and i expect a lot of uh, volatility on um, the euro and GP and the AUD this week and now because there's a lot of news for AU um, uh, uh, For AU For G GU and for Euro USD now last but not the least. Let's look at USD card USD card for the week Now this is USD card all right, and this guy actually looks good for a sell okay looks good for a sell so you can see that price corrected drop but the market didn't take out the slow so what i'm expecting on AUD, um, usd card is for price to come up probably this becomes the liquidity right here all right so we can see price moves up now if price should break this loop this low here and go down then maybe we might, we might not expect that okay but as long as price is sitting above this high here as long as price is staying above this zone we can expect price to go up or to fill this zone and then we expect sell off okay please take note of that so we can expect a sell off on the AD usd and this can be your target like this to connect the lows one two three like this can you see that and you can also use trend line like this if you want like this as well all right price to just come through this zone so we're going to be having one two and probably three and one and two and probably three so this becomes your target this zone right here becomes your entry on the usd card all right so i feel like i believe these four pairs um are going to do well for this week and the they are easy to actually find entry on you just need to be patient so keep your eyes on wednesday uh, um keep your eyes on tuesday wednesday or thursdays when these things will be um, um prepared and then you can catch the impulsive move for the four of them so eu gu AU, USD card keeping it simple keeping it short like they say less is more all right guys so uh, i hope it is um four pairs um, you can capitalize on them so that you can take advantage of the setup. So the opportunities for this week look good. But like I said, make sure you pay attention to the news for this week. The fundamentals, there's a lot of news for Edo, GP, and AUD. And I think about three or four news for the USD as well. So don't get um, caught up off guard and make sure that you prepare so that you don't become the liquidity so that you know when these news are actually going to be released and the details as well so that you can um prepare yourself effectively for the market movement and the price action that is going to create all right guys so this is what i have for the week these four pairs and e and i think that these four pairs are good to go so i wish you guys a profitable week ahead and let's get this money See you guys later and bye for now.